That's amazing. Good for you. Your muscle word notebook. Put your silent reading book away. Take out this notebook. Your muscle word notebook. Hello, Lulu. How are you, Lulu? Um, I think you have a book that looks like this. It's got. It's a notebook, it's got a black binding. Can you get that notebook out? It, it should say muscle words on it. Okay. Uh, no, it's not the first grade notebook. It says muscle words. So it says muscle words as an Oh, it is your muscle weight notebook. You got it. Good. Most of you have, it doesn't have um, metal wires, but, right? Okay, so then open up and go to the next free page. So most of you have a word on the first page. Go to the, turn to the next free page. All right, so Lulu, you're going to go to the, uh, probably your first page, right? And we're going to write the date at the top of the page. So, um, let's see if I can make this easier to see. Good. So, the date at the top of the page, if you're not sure how to write the date, it's on the board. It's Nine dash fourteen dash twenty because September is the ninth month. This is the fourteenth day of twenty twenty. Henry, question? You're letting me know that you did. Thank you for the silent signal. Yes, Sage, please get your muscle word notebook out of your desk. Ooh, did you just say you're still? trying to find it. So please keep trying by taking everything out of your desk. Yes, Elliot. Okay. All right. So 
we are going to work to our muscle words, remember, are words that make our brains grow bigger and bigger if we use them. In fact, scientists have found that they are words that help us to do better in school later on and do better on tests. So that's why we are going to spend a few minutes on our muscle words. So the underneath the date, we're going to spell our new muscle word. And the first letter is a lowercase c. So remember I said to try to use two lines for your writing. So go down, use the first two lines for your writing. And are you, that's it, you got it, good job. I knew you could do it. And then O, so C O, and then a lowercase m. So these first three letters are small, small letters. They should stay below the middle line. The fourth letter is a tall, small letter. So it's gonna go from the top to the bottom. It's a B, C-O-M-B. That's not it though, we got more. I, that's a small, small letter with a dot above it. And then N, and then E. And that's the word, the word is combine. Today's muscle word is combine. And we're gonna find out what it means in just a minute. Jeremiah, thank you for joining us. We are um, working in our muscle word notebook, which you have a notebook that looks like this where it has a black binding, black binding. That's our muscle word notebook. and. So we're opening up to our first page in our muscle word notebook and we put the date 9-14-20. Let me see if I can make this easier for you. Um, I don't know, does that make it easy? Hmm. C-O-M-B-I-N-E, combine. All right, I have an idea. Um, okay, and then put an equal sign because we always talk about the word and then the equal sign means the same as. What does equal sign mean? Yeah, it doesn't mean the answer, it means the same as. So the word combine is the same as, and this is what it means, two. And when I run out of room, I you just go underneath on the next line. So I'm gonna go underneath. Two, put, finger space, Together. To combine means to put something together. To put two or more things together. That's what combine means, to put things together. Okay. What I'll try and do, since I think it must be a little, it doesn't look like it's that easy to see that green board from your screen. So I'm gonna uh, bring up a new screen, let's see. Whoops, that's not right, sorry. All right, bear with me. I'm gonna bring up a blank screen for you guys. So. Yeah. 
All right. Okay, so do you see a blank screen in front of you? All right. All right, so um, Jeremiah and Lulu, I'm gonna type on this screen the same thing that I put on the board so that you guys can see. So the muscle, where, first we put the date 9-14-20 and then underneath that we wrote combine is the same as to put together, okay? And then underneath this, I can't really type this in, but you're gonna make a wavy line, just draw a line that kind of goes like a wavy line. Or you could do a straight line like that, that's fine too, okay? All right, first grade, thank you for your patience. I was trying to figure out how to make it so that Jeremiah and Lulu could see what we were doing. I was just telling them to please, asking them to please draw a wavy line underneath the definition. So to combine is to put together. And whenever we talk about muscle words, we first tell what the word means, and then we give some uh, pictures and examples, symbols. So here's one symbol of combining, putting things together. Um, how many of you have ever played with Legos? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, hands, you can put your hands up. So when you have Legos, they are often rectangular and you combine them, you put them together to build things, right? So you could draw a picture just of some rectangles and squares and then label it Legos. Legos, L-E-G-O-S. When you use Legos, you combine them. So Jeremiah and Lulu, what I just showed the class, you can draw some rectangles and then um, put the rectangles together that look like uh, um, Legos and then label Legos. Legos is L-E-G-O-S. So you could draw a picture of Legos. Okay, all right, and then here's another symbol of combining, Raymond. A really important symbol of combining is this sign, the plus sign, which means to add, right? When you add something, you're combining. To add means to combine. So just having a simple plus sign is a good symbol of combining, except make it really big. The one that I typed wasn't that big, but you can make a really big plus sign. So you can combine Legos, you can com combine when you add. Can anyone else think of something that you combine, that you put together in, you, in your daily life? Elliot? How about this? How many of you are having some sort of sandwich for lunch? Yeah, okay. When you make a sandwich, what do you do? You have bread and something that goes with the bread, right? You're combining bread with peanut butter or cheese or, uh, yeah. So just draw a picture of a sandwich, but do it sideways where you have the bread and then some sort of meat. You could draw a hamburger if you want. And then the bun or the bread, that's combining, right? So a sandwich is an example of combining. Okay. So draw a picture, Lulu and Jeremiah, we talked about make, when you make a sandwich, you're combining the bread and whatever goes inside the bread. Okay. All right. So students at school, if you're done, when you're done with your three pictures or symbols and you can close your muscle word notebook, put it back in your desk. And then the students who are, 
who have rug spots, please tuck your chairs in and come to the rug. So, looks good. I'm gonna actually, beautiful. Oh, leave your muscle with notebook in your desk, Henry. All right, thank you, Ian. All right. So you should just take another minute to finish your picture and then come to the rug facing the orange chair. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right. Sorry, Addy. I'll get that out of your way. All right. <clears throat> All right, and Lulu and Jeremiah, I'm gonna uh, bring you back to the classroom. Our next goal in literacy is we're gonna get better and better at reading to self. That's, well, I'm gonna give everyone a chance to be the actor, but today we've had a couple of boy actors, so I thought it'd be fair to pick a girl actor. So I was hoping Caitlin, would you be an actress for us today? Can you get your book box, please? And Caitlin, while you're getting your book box, you're going to think about the wrong way to read to self, okay? Not the right way, but the wrong way, okay? And I'm going to stop sharing the screen here. All right, so... All right, so Kate... Well, I guess I actually put that right up there. All right, so kids who are at school, um, I'm gonna bring out the chart that reminds us of how to read to self. Just a second. So, So on our read to self chart, it shows, Caitlin, please have a seat, huh? There we go. All right, so it's gonna, so first grade, let's, the kids at home, it's hard to see the words on that chart, so we have to read it for them, really loud and proud so um, oh. on read to self it says that first graders are going to what is it first thing says spread out what's the first thing you do spread out. spread out then the next line says start right away then you read Quietly. Read how many ways? Three. Read. Read the whole time and stay in one spot. And while you're doing that, I'll be working with students, listening to students read, and helping students. So to help us get that into trained into our brains, we always have an actor or an actress. So we're gonna start out by seeing what read to self doesn't look like. So Caitlin, are you ready? You got an idea of how not to read to self? Okay, at, judges, are you ready? So we always start out by saying, light, camera, action. So let's see what she's doing. If you notice her doing something wrong, please let us know. So Harley, what do you see? She was kind of going really quickly through that book, right? Hmm, she wasn't studying each page. All right, William. Say that again. You heard something? 
I think I heard something too. So she, if you can hear something and if I can hear something, then she must not be reading quietly. Lucas, what were you gonna say? I think she might be humming a little bit to herself. Even if it's kind of quiet noise, it's still distracting, right? All right. So Harley. Okay. So first grade, let's think about this. Did she spread out? Okay. Well, she sat where I asked her to sit, right? So she's at least three feet away from everyone. So she actually is doing okay there. But Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. what is she doing? What do you see, Lauren? She was moving around. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. All right. Well, first grade, did she start right away, do you think? <clears throat> did she read three ways? I'm not sure. Has she been reading the whole time? No. No. Did she stay in one spot? No. All right, we have to put an end to this. So are you ready, directors? Here we go. Ready? No. Cut. Wow. Caitlin, that was, that was horrifying. Okay. Whew. Okay, Caitlin, now can you show us the right way to read to self? You ready? An Oscar-winning performance is coming up first grade. Ready, and then we're gonna we're gonna notice thumbs up or thumbs down if she does the things she should do. But first, we have to say, lights, camera, action. But can you whisper if you notice something that she's doing that's good? So, what do you notice, Simon? Do you notice her doing something good? Okay, and how do you think she's reading? She's reading the pictures or the words? Okay, what do you notice, Lucas? She is, that's thank goodness. Okay, what do you notice, Jack? Yeah, she's studying each page. That's good. What do you notice, Addie? Started right away. Very good. How about William? What do you notice? Yeah, good job. All right, Harley? Slowly. Okay. And if you're, especially what we're talking about is studying each page, right? And studying, reading the words, reading the pictures first, then the words, and then retelling it to yourself. All right, great job, actors. Here we go. Ready? Cut. Caitlin, that was a beautiful performance, an award-winning performance. You get an Oscar. So first grade, let's give Caitlin a K of applause because she was not just okay. She was excellent. All right. So first grade, last time you set an all-time record for first grade, you read four minutes. So now our goal today is to try to read, Ten. well, at least five. We want to do at least one minute better. And I will give first grade, this is the deal. If you do four minutes, if you match last time, then that's one point. But if you do better, if you do five minutes, that's five points. If you do six minutes, that's six points and so on. Let's see. So your job is to get your book box, spread out, start right away, read quietly, read three ways, read the whole time, stay in one spot. And Lulu and Jeremiah, your job is to do the same thing at home with your books at home, okay? See how long, set a timer, see how long you can read to self and then can you send me, can you write me a note on Seesaw? Let me know how many minutes you were able to read to self.
Okay. And then I'll see you back here at 12.15 for a math. Thank you. Bye.